So a question I get asked quite a lot by friends and colleagues is what is the best HDMI cable that money can buy currently on the market? Um, basically if you plan to watch Blu-ray movies or play your games consoles including the Wii U, Xbox 360, PS3, PS4 or Xbox One when they come out, um, you're going to have to use a high definition multimedia interface cable or an HDMI cable that is hooked up to your HD TV. Um, otherwise you will not get a full HD um, 1080p resolution picture um, from your device going onto the television set. Now there's a lot of speculation that says that the better quality cables are a lot more expensive and therefore the more money that you spend on a cable the better the picture you will get on the television. Sadly this isn't the case. The factors that would depend on how good the picture is for your TV include the quality of the television. Obviously a TV priced at £400 won't have the same picture quality as one priced at £4,000. The way that your TV has been configured, i.e. have you just used the factory settings or have you tweaked the separate um, picture settings on the television itself, and also the source material, i.e. how well has a film been transferred, say from the original film reel when it was um, when principal photography was taking place and how well has it been transferred onto the Blu-ray disc. Um, those are really the three crucial aspects. You could argue as well that the Blu-ray player, um, that might have an impact on it as well. I've not really seen any Blu-ray players that perform poorly in terms of picture quality when they're given an excellent Blu-ray um, and also an excellent television. Now, having said that, what HDMI cable should you buy? Now, one that I've got here, this is just a bog standard HDMI cable that I got from Amazon for $3.99. Now, there's nothing fancy about this, it was just a, it's a very basic cable, um, and I've been using this for the last five years now, so, you know, it's not as if it's outdated with the way that TVs have progressed in the last couple of years. Um, now, there are four people that are watching 3D Blu-ray films. They will, if they go and buy a 3D TV in the shop, they will be told by the customer service agent that you have to have a high speed HDMI cable or one that has an Ethernet capability on it. That is a complete fabrication of the truth. You do not need a high speed cable. By and large, um, basically these cables are high speed anyway. That is uh, the standard they are built to. You'll also get people going, well, there's a cable at £5, but the one at £50 is a lot better. You'll get a much crisper picture off of it. Again, that isn't true. When it comes to HDMI, the picture is either on or off. It's as simple as that. There's no there's no need to go and spend a fortune. I had a look on Amazon before making this video, and I noticed that there were some cables going for around about £450, which, when you consider it, that is a lot of money to spend. That is a lot more than what most Blu-ray players are. Um, it's a lot more than what my Blu-ray player was, and that's a Blu-ray disc recorder as well. And I got that for four hundred. So, could definitely don't need to be spending crazy amounts of money. One thing I would suggest though is, if you live in a area, if you live in a small uh, property and you don't have a lot of space for the cables. I don't really have this problem, but you can get HDMI cables where the end actually spins round, so that it would be at a 90 degree angle. This can be quite helpful for people that don't have a lot of space behind the telly. One thing I would also always recommend is that you go for the gold-plated variety. Again, this isn't going to add much onto the price. Um, if anything, it'll probably add a pound onto it. It just means that you will get a better connection that way and there won't be as much oxidation when compared to um, a normal metal, um, when it's a base metal, that's plating the connector here. But that's pretty much it. When you're looking for an HDMI cable, get one, four or five pound from Amazon. What I'll do is I will, for Amazon UK, Amazon.com, um, I will put a link of two of the best HDMI cables that are a reasonable price in the description below so that you're not spending a fortune on um, obviously a cable when that money could be much better spent on films instead. But definitely never, never, never pay more than £10 for an HDMI cable.
Okay, thank you for watching and I hope that this video has been helpful for you. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.